me when I tell you that I am fully aware of the irony of making this video while you're watching it on a screen and I am talking to a very small screen on the preview for the camera. But on the way home from London on Monday, I was just thinking to myself, I've basically spent eight to nine hours of that day just glued to a screen and then I sit on the train on the way home, glued to a screen on the phone, and then I come home and I either read something on my iPad or I watch TV and the whole day is spent looking at a screen. Now, right now I'm finishing uploading the previous vlog, but I'm well aware that today being Thursday, being my day off, I need a screen detox and I, I Gonna try and see how hard that is. I've got some reading material, I've got a newspaper, I've got two magazines to read, and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time and just record what sort of goes on, how bored I get, how itchy I get for a screen over an at few hour period. It's now 11.02 a.m. I'm gonna go hour by hour and see how I get on without screen. <laughs> It's now 11.40, so 40 minutes after I started my screen break. I'm already getting the urge to check my phone, so I'm glad I turned it off. Um, it is a nice day outside. So I may get some garden chores done, like sweeping leaves and things, but yeah, I'm already missing the screens after 40 minutes, which is not a good sign, is it? It's 1.36 p.m., so that's kind of two and a half hours now without looking at a screen. I am getting withdrawal symptoms. My, I keep trying to say to myself, I need to check my phone, I need to see how that last video did, or check this, or etc, etc, etc. One thing that did happen that hasn't been good is that, of course, my doorbell is covered by my phone. My phone switched off, so I didn't hear the doorbell go. Thankfully, the guy hit the door. But I am getting on with loads of chores. I've cleared all the leaves from the front driveway now. And I need to tackle this bit, which I've really been trying to avoid like crazy because I know that there were mice in here, as you saw in this vlog. I put poison down, which means there are now dead mice in there. So I'm not looking forward to doing this section. I'm hoping there are not more mice that are gonna run into my studio. What a thumbnail picture. <laughs> Just gone 2 p.m. Something weird is starting happening now. I desperately still want to look at the screen, but I'm starting to hear melodies in my head. Not weirdly, but um, one of the transcriptions I'll be doing is off Bramford's uh, solo, soprano solo on the Zabut that's leaving soon for New York, and my inner ear is starting to play that. If I'm looking at a screen all the time, it just doesn't happen. So four hours in now, and the compulsion to look at the phone has drained a little bit. I'm interested to know what's happened with the vlog I put up, but I've just generated two brand new vlog ideas, including one about one we can all do, a playlist for life. So telling the story of certain moments in your life through different songs. So I've just been sat down listing that. What I must do now is fit this new suction mount to the car and then pick the kids up from school. And I normally do look at my phone a lot and I'm waiting for the kids. So I'm not gonna have that privilege. Yeah, the screw needs to change. I mean, in principle, it looks fine, but I mean, really, I need you guys like here. Oh gosh, this doesn't look very secure at all. And no, it's a little boot open. 
so obviously I need to tighten something up somewhere there's a screw loose somewhere in more ways than one but anyway at least I'm able to talk to you the problem with this one is you've seen before other vlogs it starts to make a horrible noise there's some kind of buzzing issue with it so although it does feel weird looking all the way over there rather than just looking there so they might have to deal with that one the advantage of the forward face one with the iPhone is it's obviously don't touch while I'm driving um, but it's easier to um, let's leave it there anyway just a quick aside I have just come to my emails and found out that my website damnforshaw.com and a few others have dropped off because they've been hacked so it wasn't a great idea to keep my phone away although it was good because I'm now solving it instead of spending the day solving it but So it's now midnight. I am seriously regretting taking that screen break because some absolute tool has managed to hack the script on some of my dev websites. It's my own fault for kind of not keeping things up to date. I've learned my lesson. Um, but as soon as I delete the files, they seem to keep adding them. So I need to get in to my websites and you might, oh, it's just a whole mess. So it's really tarnished how I felt. I felt really great about the screen break. But anyway, I had a really good night tonight with my friend Dan Grief, who you might have seen in some of these vlogs here. Uh, I'm gonna hit the sack. It's only my, it's it only, it's still important website, downforger.com, but I earn the vast majority of my income via cambridgesaxophone.com. That's my most important website to keep up. That's secure, that's behind a very, very um, supportive donor who, who offers me server space for that. So that kind of keeps working. Um, but really annoyed about the other website. But we'll get it sorted tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you very, very soon.